Imagine being grateful for the gift of an excruciating disease. Now meet a Bay Area woman with a severe case of endometriosis. It's led her to open up her home and her heart to more than 100 women with that same condition. Here's Lisa Siegel with more. I am so thankful that I can help people. Screaming out, rocking in pain. The only relief I could get was the morphine. People, when you're sick, want to just close the door on you. Okay. But not Peggy Santa Maria of San Lorenzo, California. For the past 15 years, she and her husband Roy have opened their home to women suffering from an excruciating disease. She's an angel. She is an angel walking on earth. Generous, loving. For Diana Puig of San Diego and Denise Montoya of Torrance, Peggy was their comforter in chief as they recovered from surgery for endometriosis. Since their early teens, every month, the disease tortured them with bleeding and pain. Here's this big city, and I just couldn't get any answers. We both traveled to Bay Area endometriosis specialist Dr. Andrew Cook for help they simply couldn't get in Southern California. I'm treating it as, as with the same techniques as we would treat a cancer. Peggy is also one of Dr. Cook's patients. I have this disease and I don't know why. I was chosen by God to have this, but I've got it. She understands all too well the burden sickness can place on a family. The severity of her illness landed her on disability years ago. Roy lost his job in 2009. But they own a home just half an hour from Dr. Cook, and they've named their guest room the Endo Inn. I love hearts. We love Dalmatians. The Endo Inn is open to any woman visiting the Bay Area for endometriosis treatment. Part of the healing process is to show love, is to show caring, and we felt we could do that. Women who visit are greeted with a card and a gift. We always want to have something here for them to let them know you're special and we're so glad you're here. The rate? We don't want you to pay anything. But women are encouraged to leave a note. Everybody has their own story. Stories and sentiments that now fill the pages of Peggy's most treasured possession, the Endo Inn guest books. Thanks for picking me up and taking me to my post op. I thank God for you too every day. You give hope to the hopeless. Thank you again for being you. Everyone leaves something so special. There's some days I just come back here and I just, oh, I remember her. Still, despite aggressive treatment, Peggy herself has not been cured. To this day, she still suffers. It would have been very easy for her to become bitter or too hurt to reach out. On the contrary, I'm so glad I have this disease. Now, doesn't that sound strange? But I am, because if I didn't have endometriosis, I wouldn't know what I was talking about. So I am thankful. She made me feel so good. Denise, like so many other women who've stayed, told us being here was an experience she will never forget. I love her. God bless her. I wish I could do more for her. You know, she, she definitely ooh, <laughs> made a huge difference in my life. She's really good. Oh gosh, I just want them to stay well. The next woman who visits will be number 120. And then when they leave, we never say goodbye. That's too final. Good meeting you. We stand out there and wave at them and we say so long until next time. What an amazing lady. Not only does Peggy open her home, she also takes crisis calls around the clock from any woman calling in pain. Now, if you would like to get in touch with her, just go to our website at cbsla.com.